Here we go, it just came in the mail. Made in the USA. Taser. Taser JL. Let's get this thing up. So, inside this tiny little box, we have the programmer. Should be two pieces in here. Yes, this is a little piggyback. There it is. Very cool. Inside we have our Olympic cable and our instructions. Hey guys, so now we're ready for the install. First we're going to install the bypass connector that goes under the dash. You don't have to remove any trim panels, but you can if you want to make it easier to see. You just have to kind of cram yourself here under the pedals and look up. So if we slide under the dash here and get the camera up in position, you'll see these connectors. They both have switches on the back of them, releases, that you have to squeeze on the back of each connector, and that allows you to pull them out. And then once you have both of the connectors disconnected, which are pretty easy, I just reached my hand up behind, squeezed each connector, release, pulled them out. They weren't hard to get out at all. They're both specific sizes, very, very easy to install. This is not going to require you to make sure you keep them on the right side. They're both their own specific size, which makes it pretty easy to install the bypass module here, which you'll click both connectors in. And then once you're connected, tuck it back up into the dash so it will not fall out. There you go. So now that we have the bypass module installed, we're going to install the OBD2 section of the Taser JL into the OBD2 slot. You'll see it flashing, that means you've got a connection. So now we're going to get in the Jeep. And without turning the vehicle on, you're going to keep your foot off the brake and you're going to turn the Jeep to run by just pushing the button twice with your foot off the brake. We're going to let the UI and the, everything come to life. Here we go. We use the up arrow to find audio. You'll see we found audio right there. We're going to hold the left button on the steering wheel and then we're going to click the cancel button on your cruise control. And each time you click the cancel button, you're going to be cycling through the menu of the Taser JL. Clear CELs. This is all from the Taser. Now we're going to see Mary. Now this is what we want to do. When we find Mary, so in order to marry the Taser JL to your Jeep, you're going to hold again. Hold the left button on your menu selector. And you're going to click the cruise control button in the center here. And this is what your screen will look like. And you'll see a countdown showing that it is marrying to your Jeep. So now it's married. And once it's married, then you can go to your steering wheel and hold the left arrow key down. You will hit the cancel button on your cruise control and you can go through the different selections in your Taser JL menu. The first will be performance. And then you hold your left arrow on the left side of your steering wheel and hit the cruise control on or off button. And that will allow you to enter the performance menu and let you see what options you have within that menu. This lets you adjust your tire size. And this is the whole speedometer recalibration to get your stability control and your cruise control and your speedometer reading correctly, the anti-lock brake system to work right, all this ties into your tire size. In order to adjust your tire size, you'll again hold the left arrow on your steering wheel, and then you'll go up and down, plus and minus, with your cruise control adjustment keys. And since the Milestar Patagonias we're running are 31570R17s, I looked up on this website their specs for their overall diameter, which is 34.7 so we'll just adjust 
in these decimal increments as close as we can get to 34.7 and there you go and now you've adjusted your tire size there's your gear ratio you can also adjust gear ratio is factory the four low ratio and here's another interesting setting the tire pressure monitoring system when you're running larger tires or tires with a higher load rating you don't want to be running the 37 or 40 PSI that the tire pressure monitoring system has its alarm level low tire pressure warning light to come on so in order to lower this threshold for your warning light to come on you can go into this setting so hit your cruise control on and off key in the center of your cruise control while holding the left arrow again and then while holding the left arrow hit the cancel button and that will tell you what your PSI threshold is for the front to adjust this use your plus or minus to adjust this down I'm going to drop this to 30 since we're going to run these tires around 32 PSI this will be a, a good threshold for a warning that the tires are getting low now I'll push the left arrow and the cancel key again and this will give you the threshold for the rear we're going to hold the left arrow and then push the minus set key down to 30 in the rear and now we're done how to exit the JL simply hit the up arrow and switch back to your normal menus now in order to access all the menu functions on the on the fly you have to leave the OBD2 module connected if you are ready to remove the taser from the Jeep, just pull the OBD2 sensor out of the Jeep and restart your vehicle and you are ready to go. Enjoy, hope you have a great day. Take care.